Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a quick, hopefully, update to my Pandos Eyeshadows project. So, if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, basically every time I film <laughs> an update of this project, I change the rules. Because it, I don't know, it's not really working for me. So, I do actually have something to roll out today, which is why I'm filming an update. Um, but this is not really a panning project for me because what I do is I roll a random palette and then I roll a random shade in that palette and I have to use the entire palette five times but every time I use the palette I <laughs> so, uh, I just am thinking of that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where Charlie's like, you know, has all the maps. That's how I feel right now. Um, <laughs> I have to use the shade that I rolled every time. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyway, this is how it's at least allowing me to have a rollout once in a while <laughs> because if not, like, I am not the kind of person that pans anything really because I don't wear makeup every day um, especially eyeshadow I have if you saw my eyeshadow palette collections I have a lot I don't even know the number it's a lot it's like a hundred and seventy I think I don't know palettes so I'm not gonna pan them unless I use one shade for the whole year, which is very boring and I'm not going to do it. So anyway, <laughs> um, first I'll just recap. Anyway, it happens to be in order, so I'll recap what's still in this project. And I think in the new year, I'm just going to refresh everything. That sounds like a, a plan. And I might even change <laughs> the rules again. Um, yeah, so the first thing is my, oh, that's not it, this one, my e.l.f. quad, the cream and sugar, I should wear my glasses when I'm trying to see my Excel screens, but, um, this palette, so as you can see, it's only four shades, I do really like it, I did declutter the, like, purpley tone one that I had, just because the color story is not my favorite, but I do like and recommend these because they're so affordable and the formula is pretty good so i don't know if you can see but the shade um in the project is this matte cream shade but i've still only used this twice <laughs> did i even say it's five times so i've only used it two out of five times um it looks like i've used this more but yeah, it's just because of the, how the formula is. So this one is staying in for three more uses. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. I mean, it's not hard. Every time I use this palette, this is the look that I do. So I use all the shades. Um, then the next one is my Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette, which I love. Um, the shade I'm working on, which maybe you can tell, is the shade Sam. Yeah, it's pretty much the only one that looks used. <laughs> um, I love the shimmers in this palette. They're very smooth and creamy. Um, yeah, so I've used this twice as well. Is that it? I don't know if I count these projects properly. I feel like I've used it more, but anyway. Two out of five times for this shade, Sam. I should probably swatch them, right? So let's go back. Oh, I do have stain though. So can you see how red my blush is? <laughs> it's the Freck Beauty Fever Dream. Every time I wear it, I forget that I only need to use like a dot and then it's like everywhere. Um, yeah, so. Let me swatch the cream shade. I mean, not that you'll see it because it's the same shade as my skin practically <laughs> there. And then the shade Sam. Ooh, it's so pretty. 
Look how beautiful. Yeah, love that one. Uh, the next palette is, of course I rolled the 100 pan palette into my pen's eyeshadows. My e.l.f. I don't think this has a name, but it comes out every holiday. It's probably in the stores again. I haven't been to the drugstore lately, so I'm not sure. But I actually find this pretty good. Like, the formula is not bad at all, considering it's like 100 pans of e.l.f. And I think this is only like $15. Um, and look at all these colors. Like, if you know somebody that doesn't have a lot of makeup, that's maybe just getting into makeup, like, this is really good. So, the shade I rolled was number 85. And I think I... I get confused because it's next to another shade that kind of looks the same. So, I'm just going to hold it this way. Um, 85 is this one this like corally orange and I think I sometimes mix it up with this but <laughs> it's definitely this one anyway apparently I've only used it once so that's not going well um four more times but I do like this shade of eyeshadow because of like the oranginess so I'm not complaining but I don't know we'll see if it gets used. Then I have one of my favorite palettes in this project, well in my collection actually, the Dominique Latte palette and I'm working on the shade Espresso which is this like taupey grungy kind of shimmer. Oh I'm forgetting to swatch though. Okay. <laughs> I am not used to filming this video. And these are all like satiny, kind of. I think some of them are true mattes, but mostly they're satiny. So that's number 85. It's a really good like transition. Anyway, back to the Latte palette. I'm gonna swatch Espresso, which is beautiful. This one. Yes, so I've only used that once. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see why this project maybe isn't the best one for me. But the last one is the one I'm rolling out because I have reached five uses. And I love this palette. It's the Master Palette by Mario, the ABH collab. Um, it's very old, but it still, in my opinion, works great, and I love the shades. Um, the only thing is this is a very, like, smoky, sultry kind of palette, so when I use it, like, when I'm going out for, like, errands, I have to, like, tone it down a little because every shade has, like, a deep, like, almost like a black base. So yeah, it just ends up always looking very smoky. But I think you can tell with this one that this was the shade that I rolled, the shade Muse. And that's only after, well, using it five times in this project, but I think I had used it before. Now that I think of it, maybe I didn't. I use a palette for sure, but I don't know about this shade because it's one of the deeper shimmers but i have learned um that i really like that shade and even though it's a shimmer i use it on the outer corner sometimes and it looks really good so i'll just swatch it because these are not like super metallic this is a, i feel like this kind of palette the formula and color story would never come out today because it's too like everything's the same. I feel like palettes these days, like they're all full of different textures and sparkles and I feel like if this came out today, people would be like, eh. But back when it did come out, everyone was like obsessed with it. I remember it was really hard to get it because it was like always sold out. But anyway, that's the shade Muse. So you can see when you blend it out, it could almost work like a matte 
I mean, there is a sheen to it, but... So that was the color story, although if you haven't seen my other videos, I mentioned this. I don't wear eyeshadow this way. Like, I wouldn't pull all these palettes and then do my eyeshadow with these shades. Does that make sense? I like to use one palette. Like, every time I pull this palette, I only use this. I just, I like that better. I don't know. I just don't like mixing and matching and trying to figure out like, oh, if I put this first, then I have to put that. It's just too much, too much thinking <laughs> for me. So, but you could see if I did pull every shade, this would be like a good look on its own. But yeah. Anyway, I will remove these swatches now. And since I'm rolling out the Master Palette by Mario, we're going to roll in another palette. And we'll see if I even get to it before the end of the year. But anyway, I just like rolling things into projects. It's very exciting. Because sometimes I forget what I even have and then it's like, oh, I'm shopping in my own collection. Um, yes, so how I do this is I use, <laughs> I forgot for a second, I use my Tiny Decisions app, which if you don't know, it's like a wheel where you put all your stuff in and then you spin the wheel and it lands on something. So I have all the categories, so obviously I'm just going to go to my palette slash eyeshadow single category. But if I do roll a single, I'm not pulling it for this project because that doesn't make sense. Um, this is like a palette focus project for me. So I just spin the wheel. Let's do it together. Urban Decay and Robin Eisenberg? Oh, I've never used that palette. I think it's still in my new makeup drawer. Okay, so I'm going to pull the palette out and then count how many shades and then roll a number to pick my like focus shade. So I will be back. Okay, actually it wasn't in my new makeup drawer, although I still haven't used it. But I had, when I did my um, palette collection video, I organized everything by brand. So it was with the other Urban Decay palettes that I own. But this is the... Um, I guess it's officially called the Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg Naked Palette. I actually don't know. <laughs> but it's in the naked line. Um, although it's not, there's nothing really naked about it. It's kind of colorful actually. So these are the shades. There are 12 shades in here. So I'm going to roll number between 1 and 12 and for that I use the random what's it called random I don't know it's just a randomizer <laughs> so you put the minimum and then the max will be 12 so I can roll anything between 1 and 12 uh, Five. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Um, the shade number five is this like really basic transition shade, um, Mango Sun. But that's fine. I mean, it's a shade I would use probably whenever I pull for this palette. I'll use that as my transition shade. So let me swatch it. Ooh, it's very soft. It's like a peachy tone. Honestly, it's kind of similar to the e.l.f. <laughs> the number 85 from the big palette. But that's the shade there. So, I mean, not that exciting, but like I said, it's a shade I will actually use. Like, if I had pulled one of these blues... That would have been like, oh, now every time I use this palette, I have to do a blue look. So, 
and I don't always love blues on me. So yeah, that would have been a, a little difficult for me. But anyway, that is exciting that I got a palette I've never used before. Um, yeah. So now to recap, the uh, palettes in this project are the two e.l.f. palettes. So <laughs> this big one, then this little quad, my Dominique Latte palette, the shade Espresso, and my Nude Prism palette, the shade Sam, which is beautiful. I just love looking at this palette, really. <laughs> and then the new one, this one. So yeah, the shade. But I will have fun playing with this palette either way. Um, I might use the blues just to see, because I don't think I've ever really tested an Urban Decay like blue before. Maybe the one in one of my favorite palettes, which isn't uh, doesn't exist anymore. It's the Urban Decay Crystal Nian collab. There's a blue in there that I might have used. But anyway, yeah, so that's my update. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, in December, I guess will be more like a wrap up. Maybe I'll, if by some chance I reach a goal, maybe I'll roll in something new just to work on until January. But then in the new year, I'll think of something else or like a different way to do this project because it's not turning over as quickly as I would like. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.